Vitamin E deficiency. If your nervous system is an extensive network of highways and byways, think of vitamin E as the traffic controller, ensuring smooth coordination. Without sufficient vitamin E, this system could experience some gridlock, with you having impaired coordination, muscle weakness, and in severe cases, even paralysis. It's not an ideal situation for performing everyday tasks with ease. Vitamin E also helps to bolster your immune system's capabilities. A deficiency might outmatch your immune cells, making you more susceptible to infections and illnesses. It's like sending your security team out without proper backup. Red blood cells rely on vitamin E to maintain their integrity and prevent premature destruction. Without enough of this nutrient, you could develop a form of anemia, which can leave you feeling tired and weak. Not exactly the ideal state for tackling your daily responsibilities with vigor. The good news is that maintaining adequate vitamin E levels is achievable through a balanced diet rich in plant-based oils, nuts, seeds, and leafy greens. Scurvy While not as prevalent as it was hundreds of years ago because of greater access to better quality fruits and vegetables, if you were a pirate in the 1500s, this would most likely be the illness that took you out as long voyages on the ocean with dirt-poor nutrition would have exposed you to vitamin C deficiency. Because hard biscuits and literal leather jerky are not good sources of vitamin C, your body would begin to experience fatigue, weakness, and lethargy due to the impaired metabolism of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Without vitamin C, your body would struggle to produce collagen, a protein necessary for the growth and repair of tissues, including skin and blood vessels. Vessels. This would lead to slow wound healing, easy bruising, and opening previously healed wounds. As scurvy progresses, your body experiences more severe symptoms, such as teeth just falling out, gum diseases, skin bleeding, and internal bleeding if left untreated. Iron Deficiency with iron being a major component in your blood and necessary for it to carry oxygen, women with heavy period flows are the most affected group in this deficiency, along with vegetarians and high-performance athletes, making this deficiency the most common in the world, affecting almost 30% of the entire world population. Iron is needed to form hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. Without enough iron, the body cannot produce an adequate amount of hemoglobin, leading to a condition called iron deficiency anemia. Your body would have difficulty producing enough healthy red blood cells. As your cells and tissues don't receive enough oxygen, you feel tired, weak, and constantly short of breath. Without enough iron, your body may also experience reduced brain function, as your brain is a unit when it comes to energy usage, taking about 20 to 25% of the total available energy in the body, despite making up only 5% of the weight. But paradoxically, excessive iron intake can be toxic. So you have to balance with eating a lot of fortified cereals and breads, eggs and dried fruits such as apricots and raisins. Vitamin D Deficiency In the northernmost parts of Greenland, above the Arctic Circle, there are periods of continuous darkness in winter known as polar nights, where the sun usually won't rise above the horizon for several weeks. With this capital city of Nuuk during the winter solstice in December, there are approximately five to six hours of daylight. Along with other factors like high rates of loneliness and overall lack of activity, during this time of 2022 reports, Greenland had among the highest suicide rates. You see, staying in the sun can help produce vitamin D because your skin synthesizes this vitamin when exposed to ultraviolet B UVB, rays from sunlight. People who live in areas with limited sunlight exposure, such as Greenland, experience higher risks of vitamin D deficiency. Because vitamin D regulates mood and well-being, these people are usually more prone to depression. Without vitamin D, your body would have difficulty absorbing calcium and phosphorus, essential minerals for maintaining strong bones and teeth. This can lead to osteomalacia in adults and rickets in children, which might be uncommon now. However, before modern nutrition, it would be a common sight to see children with skeletal deformities, which can include bowed legs, knocked knees, and a protruding breastbone. Foods that are a good source of vitamin D include to prevent all this are usually fatty fish such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel, egg yolks, fortified milk, orange juice, and cereals. 
Vitamin B12 deficiency. With a normal and balanced diet in which you regularly eat animal-based products, you'd probably stand a good chance of getting all the vitamins you'd need as animal products contain almost 90% of everything you need to live a relatively okay life. But on the other end of the spectrum, because vegans or vegetarians eat an almost entirely plant-based diet and, more often than not, lack B12, vegans and vegetarians are at the highest risk. Vitamin B12 is extremely important for making your DNA, which is necessary for producing red blood cells in bone marrow. Without an adequate supply of vitamin B12, red blood cells can become abnormally large and ineffective, leading to megaloblastic anemia. This condition results in fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath. If you were to remain committed to your vegan diet despite all the dizziness and shortness, the next on the list would be nerve damage and neurological symptoms such as tingling or numbness in the hands and feet, difficulty walking, memory problems, and even depression or dementia in severe cases because it is involved in the formation of the protective covering, myelin sheath, around nerve fibers, which helps facilitate proper nerve signaling. The reason it takes so long for the symptoms to start is because the vitamin is stored in the liver, and it can take several years for the body's stores to become depleted before deficiency symptoms appear. Calcium Deficiency the reason why you have weak and brittle bones is probably because you didn't take your glass of milk every day when you were young. You see, calcium is essential for building and maintaining strong bones. Without adequate amounts, individuals are at an increased risk of developing osteoporosis, a condition characterized by low bone mass and an increased frequency of fractures. This is especially bad for older adults, as bone density naturally decreases with age. Calcium also plays a big role in muscle function, and a deficiency can lead to muscle cramps, spasms, and overall muscle weakness. This can affect daily activities and potentially increase the risk of falls, particularly in the elderly. For the most part, the good news is that the best dietary sources of calcium include dairy products like milk, yogurt, and cheese, leafy greens, vegetables, fortified plant-based milk alternatives, and certain nuts and seeds. However, the body's ability to absorb calcium can be affected by various factors, such as vitamin D levels, meaning you'd also have to make sure to spend enough time in the sun to help the milk do its job. Iodine Deficiency you might find it hard to believe, but a few decades ago, this was a massive issue worldwide as compared to the world we live in today. Yet the solution was rather simple, iodized salt. Decades ago, access to iodine was limited to only a few foods, which a majority of the world didn't really have access to. You see, a certain organ in the body called the thyroid gland requires iodine to produce thyroid hormones, which play an extremely important role in regulating metabolism, growth, and development. When the body lacks sufficient iodine, the thyroid gland attempts to compensate by increasing in size, leading to the development of a visible goiter, an enlargement of the thyroid, which makes the front part of your neck swell up to sometimes huge sizes. One of the worst effects of iodine deficiency is the damage to fetal development during pregnancy. A severe and prolonged lack of iodine can lead to intellectual disabilities, stunted growth, and other developmental abnormalities in the developing fetus, a condition known as cretinism. However, nowadays, because of iodized salt, the rates of this disease has gone down significantly significantly. Vitamin A Deficiency The biggest consequence of vitamin A deficiency you may have heard of to eat your carrots is vision impairment. Vitamin A is the leading cause of preventable childhood blindness globally. It maintains the health of the cornea and retina, and a deficiency can lead to night blindness. In this condition, the eyes struggle to adjust to low-light conditions. In severe cases, vitamin A deficiency can cause complete blindness, particularly in children. Children with vitamin A deficiencies may experience growth and developmental issues. Vitamin A is usually needed for cell growth and differentiation, meaning children lacking this can result in stunted growth, compromised bone development, and other developmental challenges. Vitamin A is usually found in both plant and animal sources. Animal sources such as liver, egg yolks, and dairy products provide preformed vitamin A, retinol. Omega-3 fatty acid deficiency. 
Omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA eicosapentaenoic acid and DHA docosahexaenoic acid, are usually known for their heart-healthy properties. A deficiency in these nutrients on top of things like diet, lifestyle, genetics, and overall health can put you at a greater risk of heart disease, including high blood pressure, irregular heartbeat, and potentially life-threatening conditions such as heart attack or stroke. But the other thing that DHA can also do for you is how it can improve your memory. You see, DHA is a big part of your brain, particularly in the cerebral cortex, responsible for higher brain functions such as memory, attention, language, and cognition. Whenever there's a deficiency during critical periods such as pregnancy or childhood, it can negatively impact cognitive abilities, learning, and behavior. Even in adults, a lack of omega-3s has been linked to cognitive decline, depression, and an increased risk of neurological disorders like Alzheimer's disease, highlighting the importance of maintaining adequate levels throughout the lifespan. Without it, you'd have dry, rough, and flaky skin and dull, brittle hair, affecting overall appearance and potentially contributing to self-esteem issues. Magnesium Deficiency the most notable issue of this deficiency is the development of frequent muscle cramps, spasms, and overall muscle weakness. This is especially a big problem for athletes and physically active individuals, hindering their performance and recovery. Magnesium's role extends beyond muscle and nerve function. It is also involved in various metabolic processes, including the regulation of glucose and insulin levels. Deficiency in magnesium may contribute to insulin resistance. Insulin resistance occurs occurs when cells become less responsive to the hormone insulin, which is essential for regulating blood sugar levels. As a result, the pancreas produces more insulin to compensate, leading to higher than normal insulin levels in the blood. Despite elevated insulin levels, cells do not adequately take up glucose, causing blood sugar levels to remain elevated. Over time, this can lead to prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, and other metabolic disorders. Interestingly, magnesium deficiency is often referred to as the invisible deficiency because its symptoms can be vague and easily overlooked. Additionally, specific populations such as older adults, individuals with stomach disorders, and those with chronic diseases like diabetes may be at the highest risk of deficiency. Magnesium can be found in wide numbers of food sources like whole grains, nuts, seeds, leafy green vegetables, and certain types of fish. Zinc Deficiency The most well-documented impacts of zinc deficiency is its effect on immune system function. Zinc is needed for the proper development and functioning of immune cells, and a deficiency can severely weaken the body's ability to combat infections. As a result, individuals with zinc deficiency are more susceptible to illnesses such as pneumonia, diarrhea, and other infectious diseases, leaving them vulnerable to potentially serious health complications. People with zinc deficiency may find their sense of taste and smell reduced because without zinc, taste and smell receptors can't function, and insufficient levels can result in a reduced ability to feel flavors and aromas. It is estimated to affect over 1 billion people worldwide, and individuals with chronic illnesses such as diabetes, chronic kidney disease, or malabsorption disorders are at a higher risk of deficiency. While zinc is present in a variety of dietary sources, including meat, seafood, legumes, and fortified cereals, certain factors can increase the risk of deficiency. Individuals with conditions that affect zinc absorption, such as Crohn's disease or other gastrointestinal disorders, may have difficulty absorbing zinc. 